Hi y'all, this is Pam again with Mason Lance Designs and I'm back for another Zoom Nose tutorial and today we're going to talk about the table tool. And this has um, become one of my favorite or top features of Zoom Notes. Okay, because that's how I made um, this weekly chore chart and I tend to make, um, I guess I make more charts than I realized once I found out about this tool I didn't realize how many I made. But it looks like this calendar thing over here to the left um, towards the bottom and when you click on it you get um, different choices like in most of the other tools okay so first off you need to decide how many columns and how many rows you want if you just use this scroll bar okay it tops out at 12 but you can erase the number and put in as many uh, I mean I'm not even sure how high it goes let's try a hundred let's see what happens yep I mean I don't know that you would want a hundred but um, so I'm not sure exactly how many it will go up to but it obviously goes up to a lot it goes way more than 12 and so that's the first thing is the columns and the rows and then you can decide if you want it to be dots instead of straight lines if you want to you know a drop shadow in the back and the line opacity and then the next um, section at the top is the border. And you can choose right here the pen thickness, the follow zoom if you want a solid or soft, um, what color you want it to be, the border scale, and then the top margin and the side margin, how, how fat you want that. And when I was first doing it, the outside margins were a lot um, wider than what the lines were on the inside. And I, I didn't care for that and didn't realize how to fix it until, well, kind of recently. And then you can also, <clears throat> excuse me, fill the squares in. Um, or you can change the chart color. I did that mistakenly trying to fill in a square. I accidentally clicked on the line and it changed the chart color. We'll look at that in just a second. So you have the fill button on, uh, the colors you can choose from, and they go right to your um, color section, color palette, I'm sorry. Then, of course, you have the opacity. And then the last section is to save. So if you've got a chart, maybe like a monthly, you know, the 131 charts you kind of have to the side of your monthly uh, view, you know, that you would use over and over again, you can actually make it and then save it here and then just grab it out of um, the stick or the symbol section that we'll go over um, another time. Um, but you can, you know, reuse it without having to make it over and over. So let's let's change these up and let's do something um that we can see pretty easily so we'll just do six by eight whoops yeah and then we'll leave the line opacity at one let's just draw that so you just touch anywhere on the screen and you just kind of drag across to open it up okay and then you know you want to come in and make sure they're all on even lines you know they're all set with the lines whoops I'm moving the whole thing sometimes it takes a little bit to get that accomplished I'm not even sure if we have that yet See, and if you're doing it, you know, not on grid paper, then this would be something you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't have to probably worry about as much. You can make it, you know, you can just open it up and make it the size you want. But I like the grid paper. So, you know, we're just going to leave it at that right now. Okay, there we go. There we go. Something else I uh, didn't tell y'all in the video with the uh, lasso tool and the trash can. Um, see, like right now, I can click on it, but that trash can's not highlighted if I wanted to delete it. So instead of long pressing to bring up a menu, 
you can just um, hold on. You can touch the lasso tool, and that garbage can is going to come up. See, as long as it's highlighted, that garbage can is going to come up, and you can delete it whenever you're ready to delete it. Okay. These lines sometimes drive me crazy, and that's why I tend to work um, on the layers. So my bottom layer is just going to be the pages that I have the charts on. It's just the charts. And as soon as I get them exactly where I want them, I lock them so I won't mess them up and move them and have to refix them. And then the second one would be the, the words that I fill in the charts. For instance, up here, you know, all these words here to the side and the numbers across the top and the weekly chores have their own layer. And then I just put, I got this idea from uh, Rebecca Bennett. And then the top one is just writing, which is what you do to, you know, fill the chart in. So it's taken me a little bit to get used to um, the layers without remembering to, you know, turn them on or off. But I think I've uh, got a good hand on it now, finally, and I, and I really like them. Okay, I'm sorry. So let's go back to the features over here. And we go back to the next page. I mean, the next section. And let's see if we have to highlight that first. So here's a way you can, I don't know if you can see that, the line's kind of thin. But you can change the color of the lines. Um, let's see. I didn't have it clicked on. So that didn't, that didn't change much. I have a good bit more to learn. Okay, well this is where you can, you know, um, just change the colors of the graph itself. And then you have a fill section, which You can choose, let's choose this color. And it didn't change it in there. Well, I did this just last night. You know what, it would help to have it turned on. Okay, I wonder if it would help to have this one locked where I just put the chart down and we're going to be on this current one. So when I go up here to lasso it, it's not going to move. Now let's see if that will help out. Yeah. Or maybe not. In the picture, I mean in the screen here over to the side it did. This is really strange because I did this just last night. I'm sorry, y'all. I was really excited to show y'all this. And then, of course, the last section is, like I showed you earlier, to save it. I'm sorry. I guess I'll have to come back on when I figure it out and give a quick little um, update. But anyway, I really like using this feature or this tool because, you know, here I have my one through 52 all of the weeks and then I made just a one by one chart, you know, um, this section right here to go to the side to fit the, the, um, the chores on. And sometimes, I mean, if you want to just do a one by one and not have any extra lines, you know, in between right in here. You know, these cross lines. Um, or you can just have it completely open and just use, you know, the lines that are already here. So it's it's definitely your choice on how you want to make your chart. 
but I like it because I can stay right here in Zoom Notes and I don't have to go out of Zoom Notes into another app to create my chart and then, you know, import it into here. I can just simply um, make it in here on whatever page I want to. So I'm sorry about the confusion, but that's um, the table, the table tool. And um, we'll be back another time for another tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.